Norwalk this way, Bristol Bot Builders celebrate the first event back and we will meet again some sunny day. All this week in Robot Combat. Welcome to this week in Robot Combat. Thank you once again for joining me. Plenty of news to go through this week, so without further ado, let's get on with today's first story. We start off in the sanctum of BattleBots and Slamo, who this week successfully lifted over 500 pounds of weight from a deadlift position. Very big achievement there. It has a lot of power, this robot. Meanwhile, Team Seems Reasonable, who are the people who brought us Tantrum, have shown off this lovely little picture of a part for potentially their new robot, Blip. More news on that as it arrives. Norwalk Havoc Robot League had their May event over the weekend. It was an excellent event. It went on for a whole 12 hours and once again featured combat in the £3, £12 and £30 brackets, all of which were very entertaining indeed. Lots of big names, of course, competing, including the people behind Pain Train from BattleBots, Ribot from BattleBots, Sawblaze from BattleBots, uh, Bloodsport from BattleBots, plenty of teams that you will know and love. For the three pound bracket in particular, the biggest field we have ever seen at Norwalk. And that bracket was won by this man, Mr. Jameson Go of Team Sawblaze with his robot Silent Spring. Very well done to him. And Team Huge took away the other prizes. They came first and second in both the £12 and £30 weight classes. So very well done to them. And Kyle and Luke's bot of the weekend, and mine I think, was this wonderful robot Silent X. Again brought by Jameson Go. This is an experimental version of his main robot Silent Spring. And this version is a shuffler bot. It was very cool to see in action. The next Norwalk Havoc event will be their July event and it will once again feature a live audience for the second time. So be sure to go and get some tickets and go and see it. Or alternatively, signups are still open so you can sign up to compete. And it was a bit of a weekend for robot fighting as Bristol Bot Builders held the first event proper back in the UK since lockdown. Very, very good to see indeed. This Bev's event featured featherweights in their new arena. Once again, lots of big names you will recognise, including Team Nuts, Team Shock, and bringing a display, Mr. Kim Davies with Panic Attack in the flesh at an event. Very cool indeed. Absolutely love Panic Attack. Very happy to see it in person. And talking of seeing robots in person, we got the best news this week that RoboNerd 2021 is planned to be on September the 4th. They are back in person this year if the situation with COVID-19 will allow. They have put a full press release up on their Facebook page, so be sure to go and check that out. You can see a bit of it on screen now, which you can go through and pause if you so wish. But it will once again be at the Gatehouse Hungry Horse in the very heart of Wolverhampton. Be sure to go and check out their Facebook page. They're going to be putting an event page up very soon. Now, Alex Mordew of Team RGB has been showing off his new version of Saw Loser, and by God, this thing is awesome and very, very mean indeed. It uh, destroyed an old test chassis of the old Saw Loser, and not only that, but it did a bit of work on a bit of titanium as well, going straight through it, leaving a lovely little slot. This new version of Saw Loser is very dangerous, and I can't wait to see it fighting in person, hopefully very soon. Speaking of seeing robots fighting in person, don't forget that the Medway Rapture Gaming Festival Beetle event is coming on the 3rd and 4th of July and we have another confirmed robot in. This is Paradigm Spin in its deconstructed form, coming from Team Deadlock. Very cool to see. It has a lot of N20 motors which you usually see for drive on ant weights. I'm thinking there's just going to be a lot of wheels going on there which I'm very excited for. And also, I have been working on a bit of CAD for my own beetle weight, which I will be also bringing to Medway. This is Duya. It is a front hinge flipper, and I'm very excited. And that's just about all for this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow over on Facebook to keep up to date with all of the latest news in the world of robot combat. And we shall see you next week for more news. Until then, bye-bye. Oh, hi.